there's a lot more going on than just us running out there chasing a ball around a field. <laughs> I was at home, uh, my mom and dad were there. Uh, I got a phone call from the Braves, said we drafted you. We got everything lined up pretty much where I was like, yeah, I wanna go and uh, <laughs> I told my scout, I, the guy that came into the house and talked to me, I said, well, uh, I, I got a fishing trip planned this week. <laughs> and they wanted me to sign and go right away to Florida. And uh, he said, well, let me call the head office and see if we can make the numbers match up and everything. Just give me about five minutes. I said, okay. My dad took me out in the driveway, boy, and he he let me have it. He said, man, you you can go fishing whenever you want. He goes, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Came back into the end of the house, and he the scout had got off the phone. He said, everything's a go. And he said, you know what? Go fishing. And he said, go down there, spend your week fishing. And he says, when you get back, be ready to sweat. That very night, went over to my buddy's house and I packed the truck and drove to Mexico. Went on a week fishing trip. <laughs> he is very nurturing. He's very, um, he's my security blanket. He's just that kind of person. He's a gentle giant. There were years where I, as a hitter, I hit under 200. I mean, the, them days you don't last in a game, they get rid of you. I hated calling home because I knew my wife was gonna be upset. It put a strain on our marriage because we would fight about it and it wouldn't be, and he would be like, I don't, I don't wanna call you because I know you're gonna be so upset and you're gonna be crying. She's not upset that I'm doing bad. She's upset because I'm, you know, because it's it's a hard time for us. And so there was times I just would be would begging to like quit playing baseball. I'm like, this is enough, let's stop. And I remember walking to the field in Rochester. I said, I said, that's it. I surrender. It's yours. If you want to take it, take it. You know, when I finally said, all right, Lord, it's yours. You can take it if you want it. I felt just this huge weight come off of me. I felt free, man. I felt like I could go out there and play the game with no consequences, play it without worrying about striking out three times, you know, going over 12, whatever it may be. I finally said, man, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to have fun. I'm all right playing in AAA. When I step on that field now that I've I put my focus on, I'm going to do this for you, Lord. I'm going to play for you. Um, I've prepared. I've done the things that I need to do to be out here. And uh, I, I want to glorify you while I'm out on this field. He's always searching for us and wanting to have a relationship with us. And uh, I, I get a little emotional, but I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that I... I have a relationship with him.